Good morning, boys and girls. We're going to get started with our lesson today. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go right into our shape flashcards because I want you to see them every day. I want you to recognize them. So as I hold them up, I want you to tell me what they are. So what shape is this? Trapezoid. Oval. Circle. Rectangle, very good. Two long sides and two short sides. Square. <clears throat> good job, triangle. Pentagon. A pentagon has how many sides, friends? Show me with your hands. Five sides. Great. <clears throat> Hexagon. How many sides does a hexagon have? Ooh, good job. Nope, it has six sides. Show me six on your fingers. Excellent. <clears throat> and what shape is this? Say rhombus. Does it kind of look like a diamond? Yes. <clears throat> okay, great. So today we've been talking about how many sides, how many vertices, and everything <clears throat> the shapes have. Today we're going to learn how to draw, uh, draw them or form them, okay? So I want you to look on my board. Can you get this sheet for me, this one right here? Get that one in front of you, okay? We're going to do the circle first. On your page, boys and girls, you have a dot where you are going to begin. Thumbs up if you know where you're going to begin on the shape. Good. All right, so ready? We're going to do four of each shape. We're going to start with the circle. Get your pencil, okay? And we're going to start. Go to the top dot on your circle. Ready? And we're going to go back. Look at Mrs. Pettit first. We're going to go back and come back around, okay? You don't go forward. So now ready? Let's do it together. Start at the dot. Go back come back up to the top. Say circle. <clears throat> Let's do the second one. Come at the top, go back, come back up to the top, and go back up to the dot. Say circle. Good job. Ready? Two more times. Start at the dot, go back, and curve back around to the top. Say circle. Great. It is Curved line. The circle has a curved line. All right, boys and girls, let's start at the top. <clears throat> One more. We're going to go back all the way down to the bottom and curve back around. Circle. Thumbs up if you are finished with the circles. Great job. <clears throat> We're going to move on to the, to the square. My friends, show me with your hands how many sides does a square have? <clears throat> Great. All right. So do you see the dot on the square on your sheet of paper? All right, everyone, put your pencil on the dot. <clears throat> Ready? We're going to go down, across, back up, and back to your dot. My friends, it has four equal sides. Say four equal sides. Good. <clears throat> Let's go to the second one. Ready? Put your pencil on your dot. Go down, across, up, and back to the dot. <clears throat> Great job. Let's go to the third one. Put your pencil on the dot. <clears throat> go down, across, back up and back to the dot. Okay, thumbs up, excellent. Let's do the fourth, the fourth square, ready? <clears throat> Put your pencil on the dot. You go down, across, straight up, and back to your dot. <clears throat> Boys and girls, <clears throat> it's very important you remember that a square has 
four equal sides. They're the same size. Watch. This side is the same size as this side. Okay? All right. We're going to move on to the rectangle. <clears throat> um, boys and girls, how many sides does a rectangle have? Show me with your fingers. Four. Excellent. Now look at the thing about the rectangle is this. The rectangle, watch this first, okay? It has two long sides and two short sides. Do you see that? So it has two long sides and two short sides. So here we go. <clears throat> All right, do you see where the dot is on your sheet? Great. Point to the dot. We're going to go down. Now watch, when you go across, it's longer because there's two long sides and two short sides. And you're going to go back up and you're going to go back to your dot. <clears throat> Say rectangle. Great. Let's start back up at the top. Or so on the second one. Point to your dot. Ready? You go down, <clears throat> across. Go back up and go and slide back to your dot. Great. All right, let's do the third one. <clears throat> Point to your dot. You go down. You go across, up, and you go back to your dot. <clears throat> Great. Are we ready to do the fourth one? Give me a thumbs up. Okay. Awesome. Ready? Start at your dot. You go down, across, back up, and back to your dot. <clears throat> Thank you, Manuel. Thumbs up. Awesome. All right. So that is a rectangle. What I want you to remember about a rectangle, boys and girls, it has two long sides and two short sides, okay? It's different than a square. A square has four equal sides. Can anyone remember what equal means? Remember I taught you that? The same. Equal means the same, right? Okay, we're going to move on to the triangle. Show me with your fingers how many sides a triangle has. A triangle. <clears throat> Good job. You are also very smart. Okay, do you see the dot on your triangle where we are going to start? Great. Ready? A triangle has three sides. So you start at the dot, okay? You're going to go slide back. If we use our, like, foundations, you know, terms, like sliding back and sliding forward, Almost like if you're on a slide at the park, you wee, slide down. All right, we're going to start there. You slide back, you go straight forward, and then you slide up. <clears throat> okay, let's move on to the second triangle. Daniel, do you have a pencil? <clears throat> do you have your sheet of paper, honey? If not, just get any sheet of paper, okay? Go ahead, get any sheet of paper. <clears throat> and then you can just draw triangles with me if you don't have the packet. Not a big deal at all, my friend. <clears throat> you are good. Yes, yes. Now turn the other side. <clears throat> yeah, that one right there. Do you see the triangle, sweetie? Okay. Ready? Everyone, start at the dot on your triangle. <clears throat> We're going to slide back. Go slide, go forward. And we're going to slide back up. <clears throat> Wonderful. Let's go to the third one. Point, point to the dot. <clears throat> slide back. Go forward. And slide up. One more, point to the dot, slide back, slide forward, and 
light up. <clears throat> Wonderful. Okay. <clears throat> Excellent. Um, while I get ready for you guys look like you need a little movement, stand up. Let's do our Heidi songs. <clears throat> All right. All right, we're going to do a different Heidi song today, though, just because we have been doing the same ones. So we're going to do this one, <clears throat> Wear and Find, because these are fun. you to put your tapping hands up. Okay, we're going to get ready for the foundations portion of our lesson. All right, ready. We're going to tap out the word, tap out the sounds you hear. And the word is, is it the same word? It is. Okay. And the word is thick. Th, I, k. All right, let's do, ream, no, let's just, uh, okay, ready? Junk. No, I don't want to do that one either. <laughs> Let's start over. Let's do stick. St ick. Ready? Let's do white. W I T. Black. B O A K. Let's do green. G R E N. Let's do chat. Ch A Let's do ring, er, ing. That is the glued sound that we're going to talk about today. All right, my friends, let's get our, let's go over our glued sound poster. I'm going to say it first. You will repeat after me. A-L-L, -L, ball, all. A-M, ham, am. A N fan an A N G fang ang I N G ring ing O N G song ong U N G lung ung Good A N K bank Ink. I N K pink ink. O N K honk unk. U N K junk unk. <clears throat> Great. We're gonna build some words. The word the the glue sound that we're gonna focus on today is. I-N-G, ring, ing. 
So when you hear ing, okay, it is, you say ing, it is together. It's just kind of like the digraph and the blends. When you, when you see sh, it makes a different sound, all right? But when you see or hear ing, it's ing. You don't say ing, okay? You see, you hear ing, it's ing. So let's build some words, okay? So the first word that we're going to build is sing. Can we tap it out? Sing. Let me, let me build it here for you. So give me one second. All right, let me build it here. Good. So ready? What is the sound? S. Very good. Okay, and then what is the ing sound? I-N-G. All right, good. So ready? Sing. Sing. Can you build that for, or can you write that for me? <clears throat> Sing. Great. All right, let's build another. Thumbs up if you have written, if you wrote sing already. Great. All right, ready? Let's build another word. Let me have your tapping hands up, please. This word is king. K ing. K ing. You see how that ing is glued together? What is the k sound? <clears throat> what is the k sound? It is K, or it could be C, but in this case it's K. Ready? K ing. If you heard ing, what is it, my friends? I N G. <clears throat> K ing. Go ahead and write that one. When you are finished, give me a thumbs up. King. K ing. Great, thank you. All right, the next one, my friends, let's build another one. And it is, the word is ring. Let's tap it out. Er ing. Show me your fingers. Er ing. See that ing is a glued sound? What is the er sound? Good job. R. R. <clears throat> Ready? Er ing. If you hear ing, what do I write? I N G. Good. Can you guys, can you friends write that word down on your paper? <clears throat> er ing. All right. Thumbs up if you are finished writing ring. Great. Okay, we have two more friends, okay? <clears throat> two more words. Let's see. King. Get your tapping hands. P ing. Let's do it again. P ing. What is the p sound? P. <clears throat> okay. And then ready? P ing. What is ing? I N G. Great. <clears throat> so Boys and girls, write that word. Ping. Thumbs up when you are finished. <clears throat> Daniel, did you write it, sweetie? <clears throat> okay, next word, ready? Uh, we have one more word to write and to build. Okay, ready? <clears throat> Zing. Let's tap it up. Zing. You see how my, my three fingers are glued together? Let's do it again. Zing. So what's the z sound? Z. Great. Okay. Zing. If you hear ing, what, word is, what letters are it? Is it ing? Great. Okay, boys and girls, write that last word. Zing. Thumbs 
Thumbs up when you are done. <clears throat> Great. Zing. Okay. All right, before we go on to our sentence, because I want to leave, when we leave at the end of the lesson today, I want to leave you time just to like go ahead and finish and color your beautiful picture that you draw. So we're going to do the sight words first, okay? So here we go. All right, ready? When I put the sight words up, tell me what word's there. Two. Funny. Into. Want. Our. Jump. Good. Soon. Fantastic. B. She. Went. You guys are rocking this. Now. <clears throat> What? This. White. Say white. That. Brian, are you left watching? Good job. Three. There. Get was black. Please <clears throat> ride has <clears throat> run. New as his under. Oh, you guys are doing a great job. Did <clears throat> who say who? Good. Where? Find. <clears throat> they. Say. Or. Great job. Okay, are you ready for our sentence? Get some foundations paper and your pencil. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Get your... Daniel, do you have your foundations paper? Brian, do you have your foundations paper? <clears throat> okay, ready. The king has a big ring. Look at it. See Mrs. Pettit's ring? That's the ring. So listen, let me say it again. Repeat it for me. The king has a big ring. Don't write yet. Let me tap out a word for you. Everyone put your tapping hands up, okay? Let's do king. K ing. How do you do I and ing? I N G. Let's do king again. K ing. Do it again. K ing. <clears throat> All right, now let's do ring. Ready? Er ing. I N G. Er ing. I N G. So ready? The king has a big ring. Go ahead, you can write it. <clears throat> Remember, your sentence has to start with the capital letter, so the, the should be capitalized. When you are finished, hold it up for me, or if you're watching this on YouTube later, you can show your parents the sentence. The king has a big ring. The king, k ing, k 
king. <clears throat> the king has a big ring. The king has a big big ring. <clears throat> Take your time, friends. The king has a big ring. <clears throat> oh, wow. good, good, good job, Manuel. I still have some friends just catching up, so be patient. If you want, you could start to draw your picture, Manuel. The king has a big ring. <clears throat> The king has a big ring. Thumbs up if you are finished, boys and girls. <clears throat> okay, we can move forward. So I'm going to draw a picture, okay? And where the picture always has to match the sentence. But before we begin, can you hold up your sentence so I could see it? <clears throat> hold it up and turn it around. The king has a big ring. Oh, good. Oh, I like how you have yours in a binder, too. I like how you guys are... The king has a big ring. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So now, remember, our sentence has to match our picture, okay? So I'm going to draw a picture of a king. Now, remember, Mrs. Pettit does best with stick figures, right? So I'm going to draw a picture of a king. And kings normally have like a crown on, right? So I'm going to put a crown on my king. See? There's my crown. Now, the sentence said, the king had has a big ring. Oh, wonderful. All right, so I'm going to put a ring on his finger, okay? So here's his hand, and there is his ring. Whoops, I have my ring as red. <clears throat> I think it looks kind of royal, doesn't it? Looks royal. I think so. So, boys and girls, that is all for today. If you go, if you want to go ahead and you want to finish your um, picture and you maybe draw details around the picture. Hold on one second. Hold on one second, sweetie. Give me one sec. Um, if you want to draw details. Hold on. Sweetie. Yes. Yes. I, I got this from my old school before. Oh, you did? Let me see. You guys can tear, you guys can turn it off the the mute. We can chat. Yeah.